Welcome to Call Out Reviews Double Feature, Stone Wave and Yoke Magic. Today we're going to teach your mom how to suck eggs. That's weird. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> it's, it, was, it, was, it didn't feel as weird when you were laughing. Yolk Magic is the mess-free, easy way to separate egg yolks from egg whites. Just squeeze and release the silicone bulb and watch as the egg yolk is drawn into the chamber. Alright, so let's test this out. Crack egg into a bowl. Place the opening of the mouth over the yolk. Gently squeeze the silicone bulb and hold. Release pressure and the yolk will be sucked into the mouth of the unit. Wow, that worked. <laughs> that worked, huh? Yeah. And that didn't break it at all, did it? Doesn't look like it. Do it again. This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so gross. <laughs> This is the Stone Wave. With the Stone Wave, you can now make delicious gourmet dishes in just minutes right in your microwave. The specially designed chimney allows just the right amount of steam to escape, while the domed lid recirculates the heat. Put about one quarter teaspoon of water in the cooker. Crack an egg into the cooker. Add salt and pepper to taste. Place on lid. Microwave for 20 seconds. Let sit for 20 seconds. Cook for another 20 seconds. Okay, so the design of this product is supposed to leave it to where the handle will never get hot. So for this test, you know, it's not too hot to touch. Move the lid, and it should slide out. It should slide out. <laughs> it should slide out. Aww. <laughs> uh, hey, that's actually pretty good. It's not perfect, but that's pretty good. Uh, I don't think that a fourth of a teaspoon was enough. I think it would have slid out better if we would put more water in it, but, but. All right, so basically to make an omelet, you, you make an omelet. Um, you know, put your eggs in there. Whisk your onions, whatever you want in your omelet, basically. Your finely chopped pre-cooked meats. We're doing turkey because we didn't have anything else. And then layer, it says if you want cheese, finely shredded cheese of your choice on top of egg mixture. So let's... Cheese. Finely shredded, probably not. But that's okay. And then put on the lid. Place in the microwave for one and a half minutes. Hold on. Okay. So to check it, put a fork in it, it just exploded. Did you hear that? It was still liquidy, continuing for quote, a little bit more. Okay, so the thing's not hot, it's a little warm. Opened up, see if it's done. Nope. Know what you have to do, Nate? Put it in for a little bit more. What's your judgment call on that? Uh, Alright, so it's back up. Hot on top. That seems more done. I'm still gonna say not done. 30 more seconds? Yeah. So the handle's still not terribly hot. The lid on the other hand is extremely hot. 
That's better. So, let's try this. We have a lot of eggplant. Place a slice of eggplant into stone wave. Sprinkle with salt and pepper. Spoon one and a half tablespoons tomato sauce. Then sprinkle on one and one fourth teaspoon breadcrumbs. Grated Parmesan cheese. <laughs> One tablespoon shredded mozzarella cheese. How's more guessing sound? That sounds good to me, man. Okay. Top with another eggplant slice. And repeat the process. Oops, we did it again. Now put the lid on here. Two minutes in the microwave. All right, so after it's finished, which it is, we gotta let it sit for a minute. Ow! Well, that lid is really hot. <laughs> that looks... Mm. Okay. It's pretty good. I'd rather it be chicken. <laughs> We're making a chocolate souffle. <laughs> Are you as excited as I am? Because I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited as a little bit. Takes four tablespoons of flour. All right, and that's four. Let's rinse this off a little bit. Jeez, mate, you're tasty. <laughs> All right, sugar. Four more tablespoons. I'd hate to get diabetes. One heaping tablespoon of cocoa powder. Smell that. Yeah. You can't. Let's try this again. Figured it out. Your sink just has way too much vigor. I like a vigorous sink. <laughs> <laughs> it's the vigor of the sink I'm worried about. Not the vigor of this milk. I control you, milk. <laughs> I think that I didn't quite get enough in that last one, so we're just gonna put a little tiny bit in there. With vigor. Aha! A less vigorous sink <laughs> for a happier Chris. Alright, that'll be enough. <laughs> Two Two tablespoons of a whisked egg. Two tablespoons of an egg. That's two, two <laughs> tablespoons of an egg. Two tablespoons of that. What? That's dumb. Got it. Dash of vanilla extract. Luckily, we only had a dash. Literally a dash. Dash. <laughs> All right. Look at me make it happen. Okay, once whisked vigorously, I'm just put in some chocolate chips. All right, we gotta put on the lid and microwave for two minutes. Handle was actually quite hot, but still not too hot to handle. Hmm. It smells delicious. It looks interesting. It smells delicious. All right, well, if you just flip it out, this is what it looks like. It smells so good. Just tastes like a, like a dark chocolate brownie, or like a brownie with dark chocolate chips in it. So as we finish off our desserts, we came to the conclusion, Yolk Magic, Five out of five. Five out of five. Um, Stone Wave, three? Yeah, I agree, three. Um, it does what it says. Um, and as far as what it claims, uh, it doesn't claim anything over five minutes. And everything we cooked was under five, so that's fine. But it does what it says, but not everything is, is necessarily spectacular. Um, you can probably get TV dinners for just as good quality. In under five minutes. In, in under five minutes. But I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, this is delicious.